everybody and welcome to a day in my life. My alarm goes off at five and I get straight up, drink a pint of ice cold water and then as you can see get straight to it with a 30 minute yoga session. My morning routine comprises of six elements every morning which are exercise, reading, journaling, meditation, affirmations and visualizations. Once I've done 20 minutes of reading and journaling for the day, I then take the non-negotiable cold shower to wake me up and get me ready for the day. Okay, so it's half six. James is standing here with scrambled eggs. Um, <laughs> and now we sit and we have some breakfast together while we talk about our plans for the day. What's happening, what's not happening. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go and make a coffee. So we have a breakfast of scrambled eggs and fresh fruit and during breakfast we chat about anything urgent and important for the coming day and spend some quality time together before the day really gets crazy. Okay, so it is 7am and we've had breakfast. We're now in the office, which I realised I haven't actually given you guys a tour yet. So um, we have an office vlog coming soon, so I won't give away any spoilers. James and I normally have an hour and a half of uh, deep focus work. So we pop some headphones in and um, do some really deep focus work that we're not really able to do uh, when everyone else is in the office. So I've got a very hectic day today, uh, running a webinar for business owners to teach them all about the basics of accountancy. Um, so I need to do some last minute prep and finalization work for that. And then I also, later on today, am uh, delivering some content for a local college that um, are interested in doing some work together. So I'm just going to do some preparation work for that, pop some headphones in, um, listen to a good playlist and get our head down. Uh, so it's also worth saying at this point that it's now seven, we've been up since five and um, I have not touched my phone, it's still on DND or like airplane mode. So we don't touch our phones and that goes through the whole way through the deep focus so that we're not distracted by notifications or emails and things like that. So it's a really good time to get some really deep concentration work without any distractions. So off we go. Yeah, so our phones might not be a distraction, but we do have our one-year-old black Labrador puppy charging around the office um, with a bone and chasing his tail. So. Our phones might not distract us, but Blue definitely keeps us, <laughs> keeps us entertained. Okay, so I'm back in my natural habitat where you guys are used to seeing me. And um, I have come up to the pink room to I've got a meeting with a, an, a contact, an old friend who um, is interested in joining a networking group that I run. So we're just gonna have a coffee over Zoom, have a catch up, see where they're at and um, see if they would like to join our networking group. Uh, I've then, after that, I need to call a client to have a little catch up. Lots going on in her business. She's grown really, really rapidly. Um, during lockdown, so call and just have a catch up, a little check in. Um, so I've got a 30 minute schedule for that call. And then straight after that, I'm going into another meeting, which is with um, an insurance broker. So we work with lots of other businesses to add extensions of our business and extend the service offering that we can um, offer to our clients. And uh, an insurance broker is something that we don't actually have a permanent contact. Like we have people that we can refer clients to, but we really like to have a close team of contacts that we refer people to, that we really know very well and trust. Um, so I have been introduced to somebody recently, we've worked together, we're doing some like content creation and Instagram lives together in the future. And James and I are actually looking for some in insurance quotes ourselves personally. So we're looking for landlord insurance for a house that we've just purchased. And we're looking to get critical illness and life insurance policies now that we've got a couple of mortgages. So um, I actually have comparative quotes. I've, I've done a lot of shopping around. I'm now gonna have a meeting with her too. A, so I can like see how she is to work with, see if I would be happy to refer our clients to her and also really to see if she's competitive because sometimes even if you've, like, you're delivering the best service in the world, 
for things like insurance, people do shop around, so I just need to make sure she's competitive. And the best way to do that is for her to actually quote some work for us that we have comparatives to compare to. Um, then hopefully I'll be able to like catch my breath for more than four seconds before I run the webinar, the Accountancy for Business Owners, which is super exciting. Actually, I might try and show you. Um, I chatted about it. I picked my phone up for the first time uh, today, about five minutes ago, and I posted on my Instagram, I posted a little story saying that I was running this event today, that it was people's last chance to sign up. Um, it's a completely free event. Um, and it is Accountancy for Business Owners 101. So we're going to be covering off um, like what's the difference between a sole trader and a limited company, uh, when should you set up a limited company, all of the basics. And I actually this morning 30 people had signed up and I will show you since I posted on my Instagram, we've got, I don't know if you can see that, 43 people, 43 people. So that's the power of Instagram, which is amazing. Um, yeah, the power of Instagram. Also, also um, another job that I have to do <laughs> today is um, run through my DMs on Instagram. So I, we've had quite a lot of press coverage recently and um, AAT have done a really cool feature on us. This is really cringe. I honestly don't think you ever get used to like seeing your own face in like pictures and stuff. I also actually, they're nice pictures, but do you ever have a picture that other people are like, yeah, it's a really nice picture. And like, when you look at it, you're like, I look like a potato. Um, that's how I feel about these pictures, but it's locked down and we can't take any new ones. So yeah, so AAT are running this really cool piece on us that's coming out. I think it might be out because I've had a lot of DMs from accountancy students. Um, I'll put it here. So this is the piece that um, AAT are running, which is just blowing my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, we're on the two week countdown for the TED talk, which I, it's just mind blowing. Um, but yeah, so this is the piece that they have currently run, talking all about me, us, the brand, the business, what we're doing, how we've grown, how we work with people. And um, yeah, so one of my jobs today is actually to go through all of my DMs on Instagram because I get so, so, so many messages and um, I can't even, yes, yeah, so I currently have 80 um, pending message requests on Instagram from uh, accounting students, like YouTube followers, and I really, really try and get back, like personally get back to every single person that messages me because um, what I'm trying to do here, I want it to really be a long time thing. Like I'm trying to grow a community and a network. Um, so a big part of that is responding to people when they reach out. So um, I really love sending voice notes, um, mainly because it's really quick and it's really easy, but then like the person that you're sending it to knows that it's you. I think a lot of the time if you're running like platforms, sometimes you're not sure if it's actually them that's replied to you or if it's like a PA or an administrator or something. So um, I'm gonna try and spend some time this afternoon replying to all of the DMs that I've got um, when I find two minutes. But yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna jump on this call. I actually need to use this camera for the call. So uh, I think I'll do it like a time-lapse maybe on my phone, just to show you like the behind the scenes of, of a meeting. And then um, we'll take it from there and I will check in with you soon. <laughs> So that is the uh, Zoom call about the networking group with a contact done. Um, I've just got a couple of missed calls um, during the time that I've been in that meeting, so I'm just going to return them. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can get some DMs answered at the same time. So here goes. <laughs> Okay, so um, I have had the Zoom call, I have called a client back, I then had to speak to a prospective client and I've just sent out a fee quote and proposal to them. Um, I have got five minutes now and tomorrow we've got back to back to back to back, literally nine interviews tomorrow as we are recruiting again for the next member to come and join our team. So I'm just sending out some quick um, 
email reminders just to all of the people to confirm the time slots, the Zoom links, everything like that. So I'm going to do that for the next five minutes until my next meeting, which is with the insurance broker, which I will bring you along to. So see you in a sec. <laughs> Okay, so that is all of the interview confirmation sent out to all of the uh, lovely candidates that we are seeing tomorrow. And now I've just got to hop onto the Zoom call with the insurance broker. Um, I'll let you see behind the scenes and um, let's go. Hello. So um, I've got an hour before my um, webinar, the Accountancy 101 webinar. So James and I are just going to stop and have some lunch. Uh, we normally get the team together and play some board games at lunchtime, so I might see if they want to come play with us. I was saying earlier about how many people have been signing up. I think I started the day on like 30 something people signed up. It's now up to 50. So that is the power of Instagram. Um, I just, the 51st person just signed up and then I just had someone else emailing me saying that they want to come but can't come can I send them a recording so 52 people um not sure how many people are actually going to turn up but we'll see <laughs> That was actually the first one I've ever like done on my own. <laughs> it was scary, it was really scary. Um, yeah, so we were speaking earlier about the power of social media and like getting people to sign up to stuff. So yeah, started the day on 30 people logged in and then the final count was actually 55 just from a final push on Instagram. So that was the first thing and my mouth actually hurts from like smiling. I was smiling the entire time like, um, and talking, I was talking the whole time. Um, yeah, it was, it was good. Like, it's really hard to tell, I think. Um, like, I think it went really well. People were asking some amazing questions. Everyone said thank you at the end. Um, yeah, a couple of people asking about sort of meeting with us, um, to become clients and, and get some more information. So that, that's really, really cool. Um, yeah, I had a really, really good time actually. So, okay, I've got an hour before my next meeting. And that meeting is with a local solicitors firm who we're thinking about doing some like collaborations and like referring work to each other. So I've got a meeting with them, but I have had 37 emails in the hour that I have been on, on there. So that was fun. So I've got 37 emails to just run through. So I'm going to run through that really quickly whilst the Zoom link is downloading and yeah, I've never done this before. So people were asking me to send them the video, but I'm not really sure how I do that. So the joys of being a small business owner is you have no one to ask and you have to work it out yourself. So wish me luck. I think as well, it's super interesting. Like it would be interesting to talk about the different types of emails that we get um, because 37 emails is a lot and you must be like, what are people possibly doing? So. Uh, we've had people accept quotes that I sent out yesterday. So Tuesdays are my meetings days. It's a Wednesday today. I just realised I might not have said that. Tuesdays are my meetings days. So I speak to normally at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I do 16 prospects a week, back to back to back to back, literally from 9 in the morning till 6pm in 30 minute slots with an hour for lunch. So... Um, yeah, I speak to prospects back to back to back. I quote for them all on the same day. So when I clock off, clock off at 6 p.m. actually off the meetings, then I put all of the quotes together, send them all out. So Wednesdays, my inbox is normally blowing up, which is a great thing. It's people accepting quotes and stuff. So it's a really good thing. So lots of people accepting quotes. We're heading towards a payroll season as well. So like it's some clients questions and like, employees questions to clients about payroll that I'm just being copied into. Yeah, there's another client who has accepted a proposal. Oh my God. This is so cute. So a client has been emailing James back and forward. And she, while I was on the webinar, emailed James saying, 
I'm so excited to work with you and Rachel in brackets. I'm on her webinar as we speak and she's absolutely smashing it. Why was I nervous when I get to work with people like this? This is amazing. Yeah, and then again, just emails to and from clients, which all need an answer and all need me to do something. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like run through like the sorts of things people actually email and call about. I've also had seven missed calls and five Instagram messages since I've been on the phone. So yeah, anyway, right, I'm gonna get cracking. I'm gonna try and clean my inbox um, in the now 50 minutes because I've been chatting to you for ages. Um, clean my inbox and then get cracking. So um, I will speak to you in a second. Okay, so I managed to get my head down for a little bit and clear some emails and then I've just had um, a Zoom call with the local solicitors firm that we're looking to do some work with. Um, so that was really, really exciting. I've now got an hour in between um, that meeting and my next meeting. So again, I'm hoping to put on a nice playlist, maybe The Greatest Showman, and um, just get my head down, clear some more emails, get some, we've got loads of new clients coming on board at the moment. so. Managing that process is basically a full-time job. Um, yeah, I managed to get down to 18 emails that I've had today that I just need to deal with. So within an hour, I can definitely get through those 18. So I'm gonna get my head down, might make a coffee, and then I'll be ready for my meeting at quarter past four. Yeah, so I've got a call with a nationwide AAT and ACCA training provider, and we are looking to collaborate and do some work together. So I'm speaking to them um, at quarter past four. And then the meetings are gonna go on into the evening, but we'll take it from there. So I'm gonna have an hour, listen to some nice music, get my head down, and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Hello. Hi. So I, I was being really, really good and getting loads of admin done, but this has happened. I'm having a break from our busy day. <laughs> James has just come in for a catch up and he has brought the biggest puppy in the world. Oh. With, oh. With, oh. with him. <laughs> with him. No, so we've okay. just had a five minutes little catch up. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I've had a couple of phone calls um, with a prospect and then a solicitor that we work with. And now James and I are interviewing some prospects for a role that we've got available. Uh, we've actually got back to back to back interviews tomorrow, but this is just a late night one that I don't think she could do do tomorrow, so we're doing it tonight. Yeah, so it's currently half five. We've got another meeting half six with a client. Yeah, to finalise accounts. Payroll. Oh something? no, and accounts. Accounts and, and payroll and back returns. Um, yeah, so it's half five. We've got another meeting at half six. Um, we still need to walk the dog. <laughs> oh, sorry, I said the W word. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just gonna hop on this interview and, and we will catch up with you later. Okay, so we just um, finished up with the interview. James is catching up on some emails. One of the questions in the interview was about like how much communication we get from people in a week. And between the two of us, we think we get about 150 emails a day and then about 50 WhatsApps a day as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna go for a little drive. We also actually have had quite a few, I think I've had like four or five inquiries come through today from the webinar that I did earlier today, which was really, really nice. I've had some amazing feedback. So super happy with that. So I don't know if it's a normal thing, but like in lockdown, when you've not really left the house to go for a drive, like we literally do it, what, two, three, four times a week. Just wanna get away from all Just to get out of the house, to get away from the away emails from for a little bit. <laughs> we just, we just come for a drive. Put the world to rights. We talk about our day, don't we? We talk about our day. Talk about our day, like chat about, obviously you've seen from today, like a lot, we're both sort of like in a lot of meetings, speaking to different people. We communicate by email most of the day. So it's really <laughs> nice. Even though we live and work from the same place, we still communicate by email. Like, yeah, so. Yeah, I, I don't know if anyone else does this, but it, we really find it therapeutic and I've actually done some research on what it is about driving that makes you feel better and it's driving something about away from my driving away from your problems, firstly. 
Um, Avoiding words. But it's something mentally about like actually driving and moving forward. Oh, I just realized. About like driving and moving forward is supposed to be really, really good for you mentally. Like it makes you feel firstly removed from what's stressed you out but then also as you're driving and moving forwards you're able to like think more clearly about things that are happening in the future so especially after like we've just interviewed somebody it's we really love she was great coming away having some time having a chat what's your favorite thing about working together um <laughs> there's lots of favorite things up there is I get really nice lunches. <laughs> Working from home is literally the best. Like we eat the most crazy food. Going crazy. It really is amazing. <laughs> What's your second favorite thing about working together apart from food? It's quite nice to be able to just come and come and see you and be like, hello, you got five minutes and just have a little chat, chat and yeah. talk. I just, it's really hard to like put into words like even when we were interviewing that person today it's so difficult to convey to someone like how much fun we have We meet some pretty cool We meet lots of cool people Cool people that do cool things and they're super passionate You know, it's great You're the most passionate person I know Only about you No, mm. I'm <laughs> Yeah, this is probably the first video I've done that might have conveyed like 1% of how cringy we are to each other. Stop it. <laughs> I just love working with you. I just love it. I love. I love I being able to put, talk about it at the end. Of yeah, the I was just gonna say like I love being able to put in a hundred and ten percent. No, it all comes Fifteen home. hours a day, without having home. to sacrifice a relationship with you because we're doing it together. We're together. Yeah. So we're not ever like, oh my god, like you don't spend time with me. We're like, oh my god, we spend all of our time together. This is amazing. Very good. <laughs> okay, so it's now um, eight p.m and we have just finished up having some dinner. We went for a nice drive after work, chatted, caught up on um, our days, had a little debrief in the car, which was really, really nice. Um, James has just gone to take a client call and I'm gonna head upstairs, get in my pajamas and then do a couple of hours work. Um, again, I'm just gonna try and Clear some emails, get a couple of bits done. I have like 27 unread WhatsApps from clients that I need to respond to. Um, and then I have some videos to edit, some YouTube videos to edit. So I'm gonna make a cracking, I'm gonna make a start or get cracking on that. So that'll be super nice. Um, <laughs> Okay, so it is 20 to 10 um, and I am about to call it a night. I've been doing lots of video editing this evening, trying to get caught up on some emails. Um, I've got some more proposals out too, um, to some new prospects. So I'm going to take my makeup off, uh, maybe have a bath and call it a day, call, call it a night. Um, thank you so much for spending an entire day with me. I've had the absolute best time. Um, as always, it does always mean the world to me if you could like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, um, as if you can't tell, I'm having the best time um, filming these videos and I'm loving having you on the journey with me. So thanks for spending a day with me and I hope to see you again very soon.